Ego is a narcotic. It provides us with short-term satisfaction, but also long-term misery and potential annihilation. Musically speaking, ego stunts our growth, our careers, and ultimately our happiness. In this video, you're gonna get three tips to improve your musician mindset and get inspired and focused with your music, courtesy of jazz saxophonist Sam Newsom. Hi, I'm Donna from Donna Schwartz Music, and if you want more tips to bring your playing to that next level, hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell so you know when new videos are out. A few months ago, I interviewed Sam Newsom for my Everything Saxophone podcast. We talked about his creative process and how he stands out amongst others. Now, recently he published his new book, Be Inspired, Stay Focused, Creativity, Learning, and the Business of Music. This is a collection of short essays arranged in four categories, creativity, psychology, education, and career. Now, this isn't just a book for professional musicians. I feel this is a book for any musician wanting to improve their skills and increase their creativity. There's also no magic patterns or licks in this book, but there are ideas to move you forward so you can be inspired and get out of your head so that you can make music. So in this video, I wanna share three tips from this book in the hopes that you're gonna shift your thinking when it comes to creating. Now, I am not an affiliate, but I am a friend of Sam's, and I do hope that you support him and purchase this book. I'm gonna put a link below in the description so you can do just that. Tip number one, be mentally ready. So I wanna share two points about this particular tip from this book. Now, Sam says to be great improvisers, we need to operate from three levels of consciousness, self-consciousness, group consciousness, and higher consciousness. He also goes on to say, if you go into playing situations with a pre-fixed musical plan, other than to get out of the way of the music, you'll probably be oblivious to the music that's being created in real time, and more importantly, the music that wants to be created. Now, I personally have been saying this to students for years. The times where I was the least successful improvising was when I was going into a solo thinking about where I was gonna place a really hip sounding lick. And what happens is because your brain is so focused on pulling off that lick, you're not paying attention to the music that's actually going on. You're too preoccupied with pulling off the lick so you can sound cool. But what happens often for a lot of people, they get lost in the form and they make mistakes. So it's all about ego. And as Sam puts it, and this is a really powerful quote, ego is a narcotic. It provides us with short-term satisfaction but also long-term misery and potential annihilation. Musically speaking, ego stunts our growth, our careers, and ultimately our happiness. So to avoid creative ruts, you must be mentally ready and primed to receive and deliver upon your ideas. In his book, Sam further explains four musts that have helped him connect to his inner artist. Tip number two, the creative box principle. So the creative box principle is the belief that having less freedom and thinking inside a box spawns more creative ideas than thinking outside of it. Many great artists seem to have like an endless flow of ideas, but they've created them from limitations, not from having limitless freedom. So Sam points out that the Miles Davis groups each sounded unique and original, not because of what they played necessarily, but what they didn't play. When you're limited, you have to be more creative in order to get the result you want. So when I have my students work on a tune, I initially limit their note and rhythm choices to see what they can create. It can actually be somewhat freeing because you're not so overwhelmed with too many choices. So the next time you hit the shed, try limiting your choices. Tip number three, mistakes aren't always noticeable. Now this is where Sam talks about the illusion of transparency which is where we believe our emotions are transparent to others when studies have shown they're not. So for example, if you're giving a speech, you think it's obvious to everyone in the audience how nervous you are, when in reality, they may have no idea, unless of course you're visibly shaking or you're stuttering. The audience is focusing on all the musicians in a group, plus they're distracted by whatever's going on in their life at that time. 
So as Sam puts it, you may be center stage, you're not the center of attention. So being so worried about what the audience thinks can actually kill your joy in making music. Now, another point that Sam makes is that when you show imperfections, you're showing you're human. Because quite frankly, who wants to see someone that's always perfect all the time? They may not be relatable. Now, this is not an excuse to not put time in the shed and be the best that you can at that moment in your life. But this tip is really about forgiveness, especially when you make a mistake and realize that the audience, well, number one, probably didn't notice it. And number two, they're really on your side. Other essays in the book are on the jazz jam session, benefits of slow practice, why you may have trouble with rhythm, are we making music or art, creating your musical brand. Sometimes a gig is just a gig and there's just so much more in here. So once again, I think this book is for musicians of all levels and should be on every musician's bookshelf. Want an extra tip from this book? Become a patron. As always, patrons that support my YouTube channel get extra bonus content, extra goodies like PDFs and backing tracks in various tempos, along with dozens of video lessons teaching licks for blues, rock, jazz, and funk. But there's also mindset videos in there as well and videos on how to practice. So head on over to patreon.com slash Donna Schwartz Music for more info on how you can keep these videos coming at you. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and tap the notification bell so you know when I release the next video. And hopefully you will purchase this book by Sam Newsom. Be inspired, stay focused. All right, on that note, thanks for joining me. Take care. Have a great day.